Welcome to Alaska. I'm just outside of Fairbanks, and I'm trying to find the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. But the conditions haven't been ideal, because tonight it's a bit cloudy, a bit hazy, and we've got a moon out which is nearly full, so it makes it very difficult to spot these uh, Northern Lights. So what are we actually looking at up there with the Aurora? The electromagnetic fields working through the gravity, you know, and, and the particles that work off of that. What do you have to have happen in order to get those lights? cold. <laughs> You're going to be looking at solar activities. It has to do with solar flares as the flares are coming. There. I know it has to be something with the sun and discharge and it's solar flare. The sun has just put on quite a show. Take a look at these amazing pictures captured by a NASA spacecraft yesterday. It's a powerful solar flare shooting superheated particles and plasma deep into space. No one knows what's really going on in those pictures. They just look cool. Don't they? <laughs> That's all it is. I mean, they just look cool, so we yeah. put it on the news. Yeah. So what sort of stuff is coming from the sun? Um, it is... Uh, Oh, uh, I believe it's solar radiation. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Photons and, you know, neurons, superfluidity of neurons. What's the sun made of, mostly? Hydrogen, I believe. Yeah. So, so if the sun spits out some of that stuff, right? it would be... What, what is a hydrogen atom? What's it made of? Just hydrogen. Uh, neutrons, electrons, you know, so. In the case of hydrogen, it's the simplest atom. It's just right. a proton and an electron. Okay. That's it. So when we're talking about stuff coming from the sun, we're just talking about streams of protons and electrons. Okay. There's stuff coming from the sun. Yes. And then what does it do? Uh, lights up. It just... I, that's... I'm, <laughs> I'm not, they're just there. They're just there. Yeah, they just happen. Well, I've had a little bit of luck, and I've been trying to shoot them, so I'll put up some of that footage. Uh, so you can check it out, and you can think about uh, these particles that must be streaming in from the sun, colliding with our upper atmosphere, and then uh, exciting it, and so it releases that light when it de-excites. Why does it come to Alaska and not, say, Hawaii or the Caribbean? It's the Northern Lights. It is the no well... Why are you guys so special? I'm not sure, honestly. Like, it's been seen down in, like, Mexico and stuff. It's, like, the reds have been seen down in Mexico. Um, I've actually seen it in Mexico by my, where my grandmother lives. I think it just has to do with the nor northern hemisphere and how much, like, little less sun we get, so you can see it more. I'm sure it happens in the southern hemisphere. You just have a lot of light down there. Like their sky is brighter at night? Well, oh, God. I'm just asking. I don't know. I don't know. It has to do with magnetic fields. And the closer you get to the magnetic fields, the more the lights you're able to see. And then, yeah, you're right about the magnetosphere. It deflects them around towards the poles, and they hit the atmosphere, and they excite the atmosphere. And when it de-excites, it's okay. given off that light. So I'm here in Fairbanks with T. Neil Davis, and thank you for speaking to me today. You're welcome. All right, so we were out looking for the aurora. I guess one major question that a lot of people would have is, what is it? The aurora is, is the result of charged particles coming down uh, the magnetic, long magnetic field lines, which is uh, essentially vertical here. And the, uh, those high-speed particles then strike the gases in the upper atmosphere and uh, impart energy to those gases, uh, excite the uh, atoms and molecules. Fairly shortly thereafter, the, uh, the atoms and molecules de-excitate by giving off quantum light, and that's what we see. What about the weather? Uh, you know, last night it seemed like it was a bit overcast, or there was some there was some cloud up there. Does that also hinder? Uh... Oh yes. It wasn't a thick cloud layer, but it just seemed to just be a bit a, of a haze. The, yeah. We yeah. had the moon out. Was... Oh well, then you're really in trouble. Yeah, with the moon out and uh, and uh, a little uh, haze, uh, then uh, it's pretty tough to see the road. So, do you have any advice for us? How do we deal with conditions like that? I mean. Uh, <laughs> That's it. Go to a bar and have a drink, <laughs> I guess. <laughs>